Hey guys, welcome back to the meat shop here. Or well, the meat room. Been doing a little trimming, as you can see right up here where the ceiling bowed up, I put a little uh, caulk. Well, what I did was I, I doubled up on these uh, lattice strips there. And I ain't gonna have enough lattice to do all I wanna do, but I got this wall, except for this corner right here, pretty much done. Right now I'm working on this window. Just reused some of the old pieces that was on here, but I can't find the other piece. I'm going to have to make a piece. And over here I just got to trim this out. And then I can finish my uh, walls up. That's really all I'm waiting on is getting these trimmed out. And uh, just see how much lattice I'm going to have. I didn't buy but 12 pieces. And I've already used about half of them. Well, not quite half. Well, maybe half. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece here, and then I'll get be ready to trim this window out. Okay, guys, this is what I got done today. Today's Sunday. And I got most of, most of the lathing strips up. I'm going to redo the top of this window. I don't like it. I bought this one by two thinking it would just cover up to here but I really need a one by three to cover that so that's coming off I'll get one of those tomorrow I gotta get six more pieces of lattice to finish doing the seams that was probably the hardest cut I had to do was this right down through there of course you can see I didn't do all that great a job but it work Got everything trimmed except for that top on that window. This wall's pretty much done. That's the only wall I got done. And this one is nearly done. All I like on it is uh, the one in the corner and then fixing the top. Okay guys, got started today and got just about all my trim up except for this top over the window and I'm waiting on it to do this last seam right here. What I'm gonna do is uh, rip one of these one before it's down to fit here and then uh, then I'll run this seam across and that'll be it. Got all this done here. I had to do a little caulk in there and I kind of messed up a little bit on that cut but it's alright. It'll and right here I kind of boo-booed a little bit, but should have come all the way back like it did there. But, uh, oh well, I didn't even notice that till just now. It'd be all right. Let's see if I can get these damn stickers off where I can go to painting, but uh, doing a little caulking. And uh, this thing here is pretty good. I'm not even going to caulk that. Well, let's see what it looks like when we get this up here. And Actually, these right here come together pretty good. I'll probably put a little bit of caulk right up in here. But uh, maybe not. Well, let's get this thing ripped down. And what I'm using to rip it with is my little Craftsman uh, battery-powered skill saw. If that don't work, I got an electric one. I'm hoping that will work because that one's a lot easier. It's lighter and everything. And uh, let's get, get it done. My right, guys, got her up. Ripped this piece right here. And I went back and put a cap over it because of uh, it was too short on this end. I had a little, little gap right here. But you can't see it now. Can't see it now. I was going to flip this one up on the root on the ceiling and then but it would have had that big hole there so alrighty now we're ready to put this last one up and uh move some stuff out of the way maybe do a little more uh, vacuuming get some plastic strung up around here and uh cover the windows and we'll be ready to roll some paint okay guys getting ready to paint got some kilt too get everything taped off and out of the way 
Got a saw here covered in a drop cloth. Keep it overspray off of it. Mirror. Windows. And I'm using uh, freezer paper, which has got a wax back on it, so I don't think the paint will go through that. And I'm going to be using my Wagner Power Sprayer. Painter Plus. Power Painter Plus. I have used this before with the bucket attachment, but I think today I'm going to just use this little one. Make it a little more portable. So, uh, we just got to uh, get this stirred up and dilute a little bit and go to town. Well, guys, got her primed. Unfortunately, my uh, sprayer would not pick up this thick ass primer, so I ended up having to roll it and brush it. But uh, it didn't turn out too bad. And I'm hoping that right there, those uh, letters will cover up here some more right here. We'll cover up with the paint. If not, I'll probably put two coats of paint on it anyway. And I still gotta go back down to the bottom and touch up a little bit, but around the bottom of these, but I got most of it. So I had everything masked off to spray, but I'm just gonna leave it because I may end up go renting a sprayer to spray it with the final coats. Uh, I don't know yet. It's kind of a pain to roll it because these all these trim pieces don't uh it i wished i'd rolled it and then put the trim up and then painted the trim because it would have been a lot easier is what i'm getting at uh, so anyway we got a lot to clean up in here a lot more vacuuming to do and washing and good wash the floor down good and put everything back so getting there getting close about another day's worth of painting and then another day's worth of putting stuff back so about two days worth of work left to do anyway appreciate you watching and uh stay tuned for more